I want to talk about the risk of creating a pin lock by inserting your pin while your pilot chute is still in the BOC. I am bringing that up today because it just killed the best jumper and it had already killed someone back in 2016. I wrote uh, something on the incident report, unfortunately people couldn't really visualize what I was talking about, so I would like to use that video as a visual aid to spread awareness around that problem. In this video I will explain what happened, how it can happen and what to do to prevent it. In both accidents jumper had popped their bottom pin while keeping their pilot chute in the BOC. Maybe they did it by accident, maybe they did it to shorten the closing loops, I don't know. I wasn't here, but I have seen people doing it in many occasions for various reasons. The thing is, when you put your bottom pin back in the closing loop while keeping your pilot chute in the BOC, it is really easy to have your bridle coming on the wrong side of the closing loop, creating a pin lock and making it impossible to open. It is really easy to make it happen and it is really hard to spot. I'm going to do it intentionally so you can visualize what happened. So you pop your bottom pin. Okay. Now you want to put it back. I'm going to exaggerate it to make it obvious, but in real life, it happened in a more subtle way than on this video. So you are closing the pin is in the closing loop. Your container is closed but it's actually going around that closing loop. It can happen really quick. So here is an overview. As you can see, it's going inside the flap around the closing loop and makes it impossible to open. In that example, I made it really obvious because I wanted you guys to visualize it. But if we put ourselves in a real life situation, we are packing, chatting with friends because we have hundreds of pack jobs. It's actually no big deal and we're in a rush to jump it's a beautiful day it's all in and it looks good but the reality is that when you pull the pilot shoot it won't open it can happen really easily way more easily than you think it is important that you do not overestimate yourself or that you do not underestimate the people who had this accident it could happen to literally any of us I do this thing several times a year in front of jumpers, beginners and experts and almost nobody sees it while I'm doing it and almost nobody sees it when I open the flap and ask them if it's jumpable or not. And actually, if you come back to the beginning of the video, you can see that I've been pin locked the whole time. I wonder how many of you noticed it before I say it. So now, how to prevent it? I personally created four rules for myself. Rule number one, don't close your container with the pilot chute already in the BOC. I know some people do it because they find it easier to put the pilot chute in the BOC when the container is already open. I just don't do that. Rule number two, if bottom pin comes out, remove the pilot chute from the BOC. If the pilot chute is out of the BOC, it is not possible to make that mistake. It might sound a bit overkill, but at least it's idiot proof. Rule number three, when you are doing your pre-jumps check, pull the bridle out between the bottom pin and the BOC and check the continuity visually and also with your fingers. If the routing is correct, it is really obvious. And if the routing is incorrect, it will be really obvious as well. Fourth and last rule, if you see someone popping their bottom pin, pull their pilot chute out of their BOC. I can understand the fear of being rejected and creating anger and friction by getting involved in someone else's routine, but I truly believe that if you say things with diplomacy and respect, people will accept your comments. You're actually not trying to lecture the people, you're helping them. And you can say it in a really nice way, like, hey buddy, you mind putting that pilot shoot out for me? Um, it's really important, I'm going to explain you why after the jump but uh, I, I promise you that it's worth putting it out and uh, we'll talk about it later. I'll buy you a coffee, mate. I have been in that situation many times. It happens to me once or twice a year. I have never ever been rejected and people were actually thankful uh, when I explained them why. It is also important to not overwhelm them with details at the exit point. You don't want to put bad thoughts in someone's head before a jump. You don't want to create anxiety, so keep it short at the exit point. And then after the jump, you explain to the person why you did that. 
and I can promise you that you'll sleep better at night and that person will be happy to have learned something. I hope this video can help people make better gear checks or maybe even save a life. I'm really sorry to make that video so shortly after an accident, but I think it's really important to talk about it and spread awareness uh, around this problem so it doesn't happen another time. I will obviously talk to the close circle of me before putting this in public, um, but if there is one message I want to spread today is to not underestimate the people who had this kind of accident and do not overestimate yourself. This is a really easy mistake to do. So I encourage you to be careful, be serious, have some procedures and have safe jumps.